Once your recycling bin has been emptied into the council's recycling trucks, the process starts immediately, with the truck actually compressing the rubbish while it's on the move. Once it's full, it's then taken and dumped onto the floor of this massive shed. The recycled material is run over by a large front-end loader to squash everything down so it's compacted. After this process, it's loaded into B-double trucks, which then takes the material to the MRF. When the truck arrives at the MRF, all the materials are first unloaded into the storage pit. From there, a front-end loader pushes the recyclables onto the in-feed conveyor in preparation for sorting. At the pre-sort area, it's important to note that general waste and non-recyclables are removed by hand. The kinds of non-recyclables that have to be picked out by hand include nappies, plastic bags, clothes, wood and garden clippings, syringes, dead animals and food scraps. So please do not put these items into your recycling bin. After this initial hand sorting, the material continues along the conveyor belt for the heavy duty machinery to do the rest of the sorting. The next step is when papers and cardboard are separated from containers. The material is fed onto what are called bounce conveyors and it does just that. It bounces the recyclables around and further separates the paper from the containers. Using this bounce system, heavy items bounce down the conveyor whilst paper products continue up the line, separating the paper materials from any remaining containers. The paper is baled into blocks ready to be transported to paper mills where it will be pulped and pressed into new paper products. Containers travel along a conveyor towards the air classifier. The air classifier is like a large vacuum which sucks up all the lightweight containers like plastics and aluminium. These light plastic containers and aluminium cans travel through the air classifier and land on a separate conveyor which goes to another area of the facility for sorting. The heavier glass items are broken up and fall onto a dedicated conveyor system which delivers it to a separate collection point, while the lighter plastic materials float off onto the next conveyor for further sorting. All glass is then transported to the dedicated glass sorting facility for further processing. Here the glass is filtered and crushed into a fine material called cullet. Any contaminants such as plastic and labels are filtered out. The coloured is packaged into large bags and is then shipped to a glass manufacturing facility where it's melted down and turned into glass bottles again. There's no limit to the number of times that glass can be recycled because glass is turned into more glass. Plastic recycling is a major part of the MRF operation. There are seven main types of plastics which need to be sorted and recycled separately. An optical machine can tell the difference just by shining a beam of light through them. These optical sensors can detect the different types of plastics. A ray of light identifies the plastics and a shot of air pushes them away from the other material. Each plastic type ends up in its own massive cage or bin. Individual plastic types are compressed and baled by the plastic baler, ready to be taken off to the processing plant. The cans that previously rolled down and through the screen begin the next step with super strong magnets that attract steel. A magnet is used to separate and sort steel cans from the stream, moving them to another conveyor and on to the appropriate holding container. The magnet attracts the steel, then directs it into its bunker, ready to be baled and compressed into blocks. They are then ready to be manufactured into new steel cans. The aluminium cans travel along the conveyor towards another sorting device which contains an eddy current. Magnets don't attract aluminium, so the eddy current acts like a reverse magnet, which uses an electric pulse to repel and separate aluminium cans from the other materials, then shoots the aluminium products into a catch bin. All of the separated products end up in these catchment bins, ready to be placed into the baling machine. This machine crushes and compresses the materials into bales, ready to be sent off to recycling factories all over the world, turning our used cans into new products. <laughs>